So ah! to to kind of kind of wrap this up, this was this was kind of a kind of a short one. Mm -hmm. But to to wrap this up, I want to I want to ask the question. Like wait, do you want to ask the question? Like the person or a question? I I'm going <laughs> to You saw what I did there? I see I know a little nice. bit of comics. I know a little <laughs> nice. bit. But yeah, no, I want to ask the question, should Batman kill the Joker? Oh. Oh. I mean, you know, I'm 50-50 on it, like, because I can see why we shouldn't. But what if the torch is passed to another Joker-like person? I mean, there is the three Jokers theory. The, 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 the what? You heard me. What, there's three Jokers? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's one of the other, um, like, it's like some elsewhere story. I'm not really a fan of it. Oh, God. Oh, you yeah, want to yeah, do you briefly do it? Uh, uh, ba yeah, basically, basically I'll, I'll, I'll just briefly explain. He basically, uh, he when Batman becomes uh, the quote-unquote god of knowledge, he uses uh, the, the Mobius chair, which is able to like answer any question in the universe. 42. What the fuck? And, and one of the things he asked him was, what's the Joker's identity? And to which the Mobius chair is like, which one? Oh, wait, the Mobius chair. Is that like Cerebro or something? Like what Professor X has? Uh, ki kind of. It's, it's, it's a chair, but it's kind of like... It's basically like uh, a chair that loads Batman into Google. Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> it oh my god. It, it gives him like all the knowledge of the universe. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Wow. But, but yeah, to so, answer the question, I mean, I, I'm getting, I can see both both sides of the argument. I, the Joker's cool, depending on which one. I, mean, the, I could have swore I saw a Joker that was all roided up with dreads. I thought that was a little weird, but um, yeah, I mean, is it time for so, the clown wait. to get got? Here's why I say no. It's because, like, we don't know who Joker was before he became Joker. Mm. For all anybody knows, like, not even the Joker himself even knows. Really? Yeah, no, he has no memory of before, like, what he was like before Joker. Like, he gets glimpses and everything. To quote the killing joke, he says, if I'm gonna have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choice. Oh, okay. And if there is even a glimmer of a chance of bringing the Joker back to what he once was, I think Batman will do everything everything he can do so because if batman kills kills the joker once and for all he wins yeah like yeah. like people think like oh why does the punisher or like the shadow like go just go and fucking put put one in joke both of them to assume that it would be that easy the only reason batman is still alive the only reason he let, like joker gets beaten as many times as he does and gets even close to it is because he lets him. Like, if Joker wanted to kill Batman and, and, like, burn down Gotham and just, like, fuck everything up, he could do so easily. J like, the Joker is not just some, like, funny clown man that's evil, that wants to cause chaos. Like, he is cold, calculated. I have, I'm gonna say arguably sm as smart, if not smarter, than Batman. He's thinking, he's, I guess he's playing Chinese checkers while Batman is like, playing chess. Like, he is playing, like, he's playing, like, 5D checkers. Oh, God. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty scary when you think about it of how no. calculating he is his whole goal like he wants batman to break his one rule basically to prove the point that even batman is not like immune to breaking the rules i wonder i do wonder like in like the very like let's say batman's wrapping up god forbid because i know everyone loves batman but let's say he's wrapping it up and we're almost done with all of batman what are the chances that like the final thing is that he redeems the joker somehow or the joker redeems himself and wakes up to that reality of who he once was before he became the joker uh, see that's it that's what i was just about to get into <laughs> so so i'm i'm sure like needle mouse or like uh some other like like youtuber has done like a video explaining this whole thing but i have a theory on how to stop the joker permanently without like paralyzing killing him or whatever because let's be real if this is comics killing is not a permanent solution and neither is paralyzing him yeah somehow in some way people come back isn't um gordon's daughter batgirl walking again or something yeah well 
yeah, because like a chip in her spine, like See, it's just. It, it, but if you can find a way to bring Joker back to what he was before, or like find somebody who like was connected to his past life, I think that would finally like get him to kind of break out of it. If there's not anything like like if there's anything left, and you know, and it goes back to what you were saying, like and, it works because it's yeah. different. It's not just put a bullet in his head, done. Like it's. <laughs> Yep. long stretched out and meaningful really and another alternative is something you might be interested in which mm -hmm. involves a lantern ring oh. do, you, do you know which one i'm talking about um do we give him what was it the, the was it the blue one the indigo indigo that's right the blue. i almost said yeah. pink <laughs> so so indigo is uh is the compassion yes. of the like of the emotion and usually for the other, like, um, like for most of the other lantern rings, like, in order for someone to be worthy of wielding it, they have to, like, either, like, possess a great amount of that emotion or inspire a great amount of that emotion. Like, for example, like, Batman, he has a Sinestro ring because he inspires great fear. Makes sense, yeah. The, yeah, the Indigo ring, on the other hand, is more like a punishment. <laughs> it's kind of like, a, it's a parasite. Yeah. Where, uh, okay. yeah. So, I mean, you can have people who are like, who emit, like, emit, like, a great amount of compassion, but its main target is those with zero compassion whatsoever. Oh, so that would definitely reverse him, and then there he goes, yeah. he's a good guy. Not, not only would it, like, completely change Joker, but he wouldn't want to change back. Oh my because god. The, because the because the ring because the because the ring would be like like would give him that amount of compassion that he wouldn't want to go back to his ways. So how do we get it into go ring and slip it on his finger? That is a very good question that I am surprised has not been a comic yet. Oh my goodness. The end of Joker. There we go. Congratulations. You made it to the end. The cringe is over. Unless you want more, do it. Put those videos in the box. Do it. Do it.